<laughs> Guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess what? <laughs> this guy just made me laugh so hard. Actually, I just lost him by the energy. So, welcome back to the channel. This is actually pride definitely, and I am Eunice. So, this is just how far our breasts have gone. Let's come and have a look. <laughs> so, this is how we make it when we are going to burn. I told you the way we make this brick strong. Is by burning it because we, we made this out of mud so we burn it and we make this in a way that i think you can see the hole here this is where the firewood will be placed from down here and also from the other side the same thing here and also from the other side and also here so the number of these gaps here depends on how much bricks you have for the number of bricks that we have we can only make three fire holes but when you have a lot of bricks you can make even up to four or when you have few you can make even just one or even just two depending on how much bricks you have so this is just how it's done i think you can see from the other one uh, unfortunately i didn't show you how the other ones were made but you can see the color of these bricks is actually different from the color of the other bricks just come close and have a look You can notice how these bricks are kind of reddish and the other ones are kind of brown. This is because this one is burnt and it's actually ready. Like we, we, we actually use this for some part of our construction. I told you I'm going to show you this thing when it is finally done. So I know a lot of you are waiting to see but it's going to be a surprise for all of you. So let's wait and see when it's finally done. Then I'll show you how far it has gone. But this bricks was actually used and just remained. We needed more bricks, that's why we are adding more because um, this was not going to finish the work. So this was burnt the same way that we are actually burning together. Unfortunately, I didn't share with you when we were making this. So that's the reason I've actually decided to share the one we are making right now. Yeah. So let's go back and continue with the work. Alright, so I think I'm going to show you how we pack it from up. Uh, meanwhile, John has replaced me where I was. You can have a look. <laughs> John is right here. The dust is actually coming like this. Mm -hmm. Let me just have it. John, I'm the So guys what happens is uh, the heat from down we are going to pile a lot of firewood under in those those tunnels that i just showed you and then the heat is going to burn everything from even the bricks that is the last one on top is going to turn red just like you saw the other one because the heat is extremely much in that everything burns inside but the bricks should only turn red when they turn black again it is not good Uh, it's too long, John. No, I'm not going to go. 
<laughs> no come here <laughs> Uchelio? Yeah. Sorry. He has hit him so. So guys, this is just how we make our bricks when we want them really strong. Please share with me if it is the same in your village. How do you make your bricks strong without using the modern facilities in the cities and all that? Because definitely in the villages you will not find those things. So let me know in the comment section if you guys do the same like we do here. Hmm? So guys, that is just what I wanted to show you as for now, allow me to continue with my work. Meanwhile, if you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and then definitely join the family and you're going to watch how we are going to make these bricks until it is finally ready like for use, until we burn it. Like, like I'm going to show you step by step, just the way I started by showing you when we're just digging the ground and then laying the bricks. So meanwhile, if you didn't watch those ones, please, you can go back and also check how we started making these bricks from scratch until where we are. And thank you very much for watching this very well. I'm out.